Welcome to the chemistry question. Jordan here, and today I am going to explain the meaning behind the pH scale. In order to understand pH, we must first understand water and answer the question, what is water? Many of you may think that you know the answer, that it is a liquid made up of molecules of two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom. Well, you are correct, this still does not tell us enough to properly understand pH. The vast majority of water is H2O, but a few molecules will dissociate or break up into a hydrogen ion and a hydroxide ion. The hydrogen ion is a lone positively charged proton that typically attaches itself to a water molecule to form the hydronium ion. You will hear the terms used interchangeably, but it is important to know that the hydronium or hydrogen ions are positively charged, while the hydroxide ions carry a negative charge. In typical conditions, equilibrium is reached when 10 to the negative 7 moles of water molecules dissociate per liter of water. Coming back to the pH scale, we see the pH of pure water as 7. This is considered neutral since the hydronium and hydroxide ions are in equal concentrations. pH is measured on a logarithmic scale. Here is an image explaining how logarithms work for those of you not familiar. pH shows the concentration of hydronium ions in a solution as the formula of 10 to the power of the negative pH. Reverse the log base 10 of the negative pH is the concentration. By equilibrium, a uh, high concentration of hydronium ions means a lower concentration of hydroxide ions, and vice versa. When more hydronium ions are present, the solution is said to be acidic and have a pH of less than 7, whereas the solution has a pH higher than 7 and is said to be basic, but more hydroxide ions are present. This picture shows pH values of everyday liquids you are likely to encounter. In general, metals are fairly basic, releasing hydroxide ions as they react with water, whereas many nonmetals react with water to form acids. When an acid and a base are mixed, a neutralization reaction occurs, typically producing water, heat, and a salt. Now, the pH scale is usually shown as 0 to 14, but it is possible to have a pH less than 0 or greater than 14. You can see in this image that a 1 molar strong acid has a pH of 0 and a 1 molar strong base has a pH of 14. When we have a strong acid or a strong base whose molarity is greater than 1, the pH can be off of the typical scale, it just becomes harder to measure. Remember, however, that the hydronium concentration increases by a factor of 10 for every number decreased on the pH scale, so it is unusual, though not impossible, for a substance to have a pH really far off of the scale. Thank you for watching the chemistry question. Leave questions or suggestions in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe. See you next time.